friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new declutter and clean with me. In today's video, we are gonna be decluttering and cleaning and organizing my kiddo's bathroom. I am going to be decluttering and cleaning their linen closet. I'm gonna be sharing some Dollar Tree organization ideas with you and I am also going to clean up the bathroom itself and tackle a couple of other areas in my home for some serious cleaning motivation. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and get tons of cleaning inspiration from it. If you love cleaning motivation videos, give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I have new videos up every single Wednesday and Saturday morning. So like I said, this is going to be a Dollar Tree organization, clean with me, declutter with me video. And I'm using bins strictly from the dollar store. They were all a dollar each, which I love. Everything is super budget friendly and super easy to use to give any space in your home a nice decluttered and organized look. But before we get to the decluttering and organizing, I am going to clean up my room a little bit because it's a hot mess and having a clean room gets me super motivated, especially having a bed that is made and all put together. So we are going to start there, then we will move on to cleaning, decluttering, and organizing the kiddo's bathroom because it is in dire need of it. This linen closet is like my dirty little secret. I never open it up in any of my cleaning videos because it is so embarrassing. So today we are going to tackle this mess. It has been on my to-do list forever and we are going to be using some of those Dollar Tree bins that I just showed you guys a little bit ago. We are gonna get this thing all nice and organized and looking how it probably should have been looking this whole time we've been living in the house. So first thing I am going to do is remove everything from the linen closet and then we are going to clean it up before we get to organizing. I have made a huge mess removing everything from the closet in order to declutter and clean it. That is just the way things go whenever I declutter or organize around my house. I always make a huge mess. It gets worse before it gets better. So I'm going to start by vacuuming out the linen closet using my Shark Rocket vacuum. This is the best vacuum ever. You guys need it in your life. And I'm gonna be using the Fantastic Multi-Surface Cleaner and Degreaser to wipe down the shelves in the linen closet because there was medicine in here, there was soap in here, so I just wanna make sure everything is clean before I put anything back into the closet. I am also going to wipe down the floor and wipe down the baseboards as well, just because they need it. There's dog hair and there's dust all over the place. If this is your first time here on my channel, I would love to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Bronte. I am a married mama of two. I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, and you'll see my two-year-old a bunch in this video. She is always right at my feet trying to help me with anything that I am doing, and she is so curious. So she'll be in and out of this video. You'll see her a bunch, but she's basically my supervisor and making sure that I am doing everything right. So first off, I am going to go through all of the stuff that is in these bins that I had in the linen closet. I'm gonna go and check all of the labels and make sure that I am getting rid of anything that is expired or anything that is empty. And then I am going to have specific bins for specific items like a kid's medicine bin, an adult medicine bin. There will be one for all of the kids' lotions and creams and diaper creams. And then there is going to be one for medical support kind of stuff like the thermometers, the syringe bulbs to get all the boogies out, and my daughter's inhaler and stuff for when she is super sick. 
So we are gonna organize this a lot better because right now it is just a jumbled mess. Everything is just thrown into baskets or just thrown into the closet and that just ain't working. So we are gonna take care of that and get it super organized so it's easy to find stuff when we need it rather than digging through some messy basket trying to find Tylenol when we're trying to break a fever or trying to find the thermometer. organize the bins with the medicine and first aid and all of that fun stuff I am going to go through and organize the pile that I have created in the bathroom I am going to fold up the towels and the sheets that I am going to be keeping in the linen closet and then I'm also going to go through and find stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of whether it is to donate or I'm going to put it somewhere else like all of our beach towels I did not end up keeping in the linen closet they are kept somewhere else now where they're more easily accessible so I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna fold everything up, organize it a little better, decide what I'm going to be keeping in the closet and get rid of or donate anything that I am not going to be keeping. Then we will move on to cleaning up the rest of the bathroom and organizing the medicine cabinet. That is not as much of a hot mess as the linen closet was, but it definitely needs some serious love as does the rest of the bathroom. So we are gonna take care of that today too. Ooh, overthinking out there in the clouds And now my little supervisor and I are going to go through and dispose of anything that we are getting rid of. I am putting all of the old medicine in another container to be disposed of properly, not just in the trash can. And then I'm going to throw a bunch of other stuff in a trash bag, pick up all the trash on the floor, and then we will move on to cleaning up more stuff in this bathroom and getting it all squared away.
am going to be removing items from the medicine cabinet and putting them in the bins in the closet with the similar items. So there was a bunch of diaper cream in the medicine cabinet and now I'm going to be moving it to this basket where there is other diaper creams so that everything is all in one place rather than spread out all over the place. So we're just going to take care of that. I'm gonna be doing that with other items as well, such as the kid's chest rub for when they're sick. That is going to go in the sick medicine bucket. And I do keep a lock on this door so that the kids cannot get into any of the medicine. So do not worry about that. It is not easily accessible to them. And we keep it up on a really high shelf. So I'm also just going to organize a bunch of other stuff in here. I'm going to put my daughter's hair ties in one of those little bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. It is the perfect size for the medicine cabinet and they were in the cooking supplies area. So those were a win in my book. I was able to put our little hair ties in there, a couple of bows and everything just worked out perfectly. I'm also going to be using that fantastic spray to wipe out the medicine cabinet before putting everything back in there to make sure that it is all clean dust free, toothpaste free, whatever is on those shelves, free of that. So this is the outcome of all of the baskets. I feel like it is so much more organized. There is stuff that has fallen over in the basket, so they're not exactly perfect, but this is such an improvement from what it was. We can find the medicine easily now. We can find the thermometer easy. We can find band-aids when we need them. It is just so, so much better, and it looks a thousand times better. If you don't agree with me, I that I just don't even know. But this looks so much better than what it was, you guys. It was such a hot mess. And I was able to achieve this all for under $10. Under $10. I didn't have to go and spend a ton of money to get the linen closet or the bathroom organized, which I absolutely love. I had gone to a bunch of other places to look for bins to organize and everything was just so expensive. Dollar Tree, Dollar Store is where it's at. I'm telling you, you guys amazing i am so amazed with how everything turned out so i'm going to clean up the bathroom now i'm going to start by cleaning the trash can because it's disgusting and overflowing i'm using that fantastic spray to wipe everything out because this has not been done for a very long time then we are going to move on to actually cleaning the bathroom because lord knows it needs it especially this vent cover for the fan in the bathroom it is so so caked with dust so I am going to be using the brush attachment for my Shark Rocket vacuum, and it worked so well. It's basically like a bunch of little toothbrush bristles all over the thing, so I was able to scrub off all of the dust because it was really caked on there and get it all nice and clean. Don't get anything done, you're stuck in my mind I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe This feeling I go when I say what we had Would you come on over? Don't you miss me too? Give it all you got, babe, give it all you got, baby I'd rather try to lose you I'm going to move on to cleaning up the kids bathtub now and getting that all nice and clean for them. First thing I'm going to do though is pick up all of the toys in the bathtub because there is a ton of random junk in here. My kids don't want to play with bath toys. They want to play with all the random stuff they find throughout the house. So that's what's in the bath. That is what they play with in the bathtub. Can anybody else relate to me on that? So I'm going to remove everything from the bathtub and then we are going to get to cleaning using this soft scrub cleanser with bleach and just using a sponge and working that around the bathtub, making sure we get all of the soap scum and everything off so that these babies are bathing in a nice clean bathtub. When you are using this product though, I highly, highly recommend that you rinse it very, very thoroughly, just like you would any other bleach product, but go back in, take your clean sponge without the product on it and wipe it all down as you are rinsing because if you don't rinse it completely down it will leave behind residue and you'll see like a white film on your bathtub 
So that's just my tip for you if you decide to use this cleaner. The cleaner works great, but it is harder to get off than a regular bleach spray. Give me all you got. So today on the toilet, I'm going to be using that fantastic spray in the bleach clinging gel by Clorox to clean the toilet bowl. Works great, the scent isn't overpowering, and I really love it. Whenever I clean the toilet, I always make sure that I spray some cleaner on the floor because I've got a two-year-old and five-year-old using the potty, and sometimes, you know, stuff doesn't always make it to the potty, so I like to clean around the toilet too. And a great tip that somebody gave me was to leave the toilet bowl brush kind of hanging in the toilet after you are done using it to clean so that it can dry out and you're not putting a wet toilet bowl brush back in the little holder that you use, whatever holder you are using. I have like a little bowl for it that it came with. So we are gonna wipe everything down in the toilet and then we are gonna put that brush there to let it dry out. Now let's move on to picking up the loft. This was getting destroyed while I was cleaning and decluttering the bathroom. My husband and my kids were up here, so we are gonna get this all nice and cleaned up. There's a bunch of stuff that just needs to be folded, put away, and picked up. So we are gonna do that, and then we are also going to vacuum up this area after getting it all straightened up so that this is not a hot mess.
I hope that you all have gotten a ton of decluttering, cleaning, and organization, motivation, and inspiration from this video. Thank you all so much for being here and watching this video. It means the world to me to have you here. And especially for those of you who have made it this far in the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to me. I hope that you guys are having a super amazing day. And if you haven't already done so, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel for weekly cleaning motivation. I have videos up two times a week, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So be on the lookout for those. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you never miss an upload. And I am just so incredibly thankful to have you all here. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below saying hi if you haven't already done so. And like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My kitchen makeover video should be up within the week. So be on the lookout for that. I cannot wait to show you the before and after because it is absolutely amazing. If you need more cleaning motivation, click on one of these videos up here on the screen. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe and stay well. I can't stand the thought of being without us. I'm being honest, y'all. Mm, yeah. He's making me jump from high ground Keeps catching me every time